downstairs I feel lonesome, my feet are already bare Out of the pasture, the rabbit's chasing the hare Georgia's, you guys did some busking at Pipe Place Market, right? Yeah. We what did. was that like? What was it like being on the street with strangers? <laughs> I think we were, so Becca was probably like 14 at the time, and we were pretty young too, and had no idea what we were doing. So in the, in the beginning, we initially would like put out a blanket and sit down <laughs> on the ground, which is like cringe worthy thinking about it. And we were like so terrified of strangers that we would, you know, open our guitar case and kind of like hide behind the back of it. But it seems like it was a steep like learning curve, but then it's, you become so comfortable and you don't even care that there's people there anymore. Yeah, we just like, tried to learn like the most the loudest covers possible because like there'd be other people there that like their voice would just like carry so well and I don't know just our voices wouldn't really so we would just come up with like the loudest covers to scream at people they can't ignore you
And so uh, last year, you guys released an EP called Song of Love, and uh, it had three songs on it, one cover, two originals. And I wanted to ask you guys about the lyrics for the song, Song of Love, off the album. Uh, really powerful, beautiful lyrics, and uh, could you guys just talk about the meaning behind those lyrics? Yeah, that was um, pretty much right after the election, right? Um, and we were just, um, I'm sure like many of us were, we were um, very affected by that and pretty upset. So we um, kind of just, I feel like that was a song that we all really contributed lyrics with, whereas like a lot of times we'll like, one of us will start it and we'll kind of like join in or one of us will write a whole song. But that one we kind of like all just like went and like wrote a bunch of verses and then came together. Um, and it's just about a lot of the issues in America and the world right now, yeah. I think, um, that we feel really strongly about. Yeah. When this new record comes out, would you say that we're going to get more of Black Licorice, your last um, record, or more Songs of Love EP <laughs> kind of sound? Is it going to be somewhere in between? or? Hmm. It's kind of in between, actually, yeah. I'd say. Like, we, like Black Licorice was very um, like energetic, fun, um, like a lot very, of very full sound. Yeah, very, yeah a lot very of horns and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. Um, and then Song of Love was like completely opposite. We didn't even have any drums. It was really acoustic and stuff. So, um, yeah, this one's like I would say pretty in the middle of that. There's some mm -hmm. songs that like definitely have drums and are really yeah. upbeat. Some that are more acoustic, but all of them are very um, yeah. focused on the melodies and harmonies. And yeah. Yeah. Cool. You guys are already doing it somewhat with working with the uh, Rain City School for uh, Rock School for Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, that seemed like a really cool program to get the opportunity to be a part of. What was that experience like? That was amazing. Um, that's one of like the main motivations for us. I think is not um, like growing up not being pushed in the direction of music necessarily as much as we pr maybe would have been if we were boys. Um, so that and seeing that like and that struggle as a girl like not fitting feeling like you fit in when you're young Especially that's like what you want you want to be able to fit in so when you see like a band that's full of boys You don't 
necessarily <laughs> put yourself in that situation. Um, and when no one's pushing you to do that, it's it's definitely takes a specific person. So seeing a bunch of and helping girls have the confidence to do that and pursue something they're interested in and feeling like they belong and that's like such a cool thing that yeah. we didn't have when we were yeah young, I think we were so. all talking about it would have been so cool to go to a camp like that when we were yeah little. and yeah it's not like anyone actively deterred us from going into music but it's a hard thing when you never see people th that you identify with doing something that you're um trying to achieve you know so yeah. I think having like those role models to look to is really important so if mm -hmm. we can help some girls in Seattle with that that is just like all we'd want to do I think yeah and, and they were being also a, fun yeah, yeah. 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 seeing like them, like a con they were awesome and, yeah. <laughs> they were so good. maybe keeping on the same theme like yeah. um you work with three very creative uh women what is it like uh working with three very creative women well it's very, it's a lot of fun, and this was really the first band I played in that we actually like went and did shows consistently. So I was just kind of, I mean, I got in contact with them through my jazz band instructor from Bellevue College, gave Gracia trumpet lessons. So it was pretty much immediately. I'd never, I don't know, I never really met a group of musicians who had like the in, intuition to choose the harmonies that they chose or. Just songwriting, lyrical, lyrically a, a lyric ability. Uh, so yeah, I was drawn in from the get-go. You guys have been watching Charlie and the Rays on Sonic Sofa. Watch again next time. We'll see you later.